an easy Black Ops 6 Zombies glitch which allows you to level up those weapons super super quick. You can do this solo in a team, earn crazy amount of XP and it really is super super simple. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Call of Duty, be sure to subscribe. So this is a glitch I saw people post pre-patch, but actually they nerfed the ability to do this. They nerfed the ability to punch bolts, meaning the glitch was void. Well guys, a new method has been found and it's much, much easier. So the glitch takes place on Terminus, where you gather and trap those zombies behind bolts. Well guys, with this new version, you trap them behind a single bolt and they ignore players via their usual spawn point, take a diversion path, meaning they all group together, meaning you can take them out from a single point, making it much, much easier to do. And in doing this, you will earn tons and tons of XP. So this glitch takes place on Terminus. So sort your class out and load it up. Nothing is required to get this done, so select whatever you want to earn that XP on. Progress the mission by turning on the free AMP generators. If you haven't played Zombies in Black Ops 6 before and want to set this up, it's quite simple. So you activate the AMP generators right off the bat of starting up this Terminus Zombies mission and then protect them from the zombies. It's as simple as that. This all costs money by the way. Killing zombies gives you that money, opening doors and paths and activating the AMP generators costs that money. So killing zombies is what you want to be doing here, obviously. So turn on the AMP generators, protect them, they then follow the path to the next one, there are three in total and you will end up at the third one which is right here. Now after turning this one on and protecting it, you now guys are instructed to dive into the water and resurface the lift. On this lift is also where you pack a punch your weapons. So at this point right here guys is where you can actually do this glitch, it's where it happens. So for me what I do is as a solo player, I leave the lift in the water for now and I take out all the zombies that are here besides one, I leave one zombie left alive. So with that one zombie left alive, you want to come down to the very bottom platform where you'll find those bolts. Here guys you want to jump in that boat and you want to drive it up onto this ledge. Now upon you getting up onto this ledge, you need to put it in the position of blocking those stairs. So to do this guys, it's quite simple. Pull out your knife and run and slide into the boat. It will move you ever so slightly. Do this until you get this in the perfect spot of blocking those stairs. Now when I say perfect, it doesn't actually have to be perfect, uh, but just do it as best as you can. Just make sure it's blocking these stairs so zombies can't bypass it. Now with this bolt we just positioned next to these stairs, make sure you do not destroy this bolt. If you do destroy it, you will have to restart this. Okay, so with one zombie left alive and that bolt in position, not destroyed, you now want to spawn in another bolt, but here there will be a cooldown. From this point, just wait it out guys. Just basically kite the zombie away, just let it follow you in circles until you can spawn in another bolt. Now if you do accidentally kill the zombie, it isn't the end of the world, you just spawn in another wave, you can just take out all of these and leave one remaining, simple as that. So once the cooldown has ended, spawn in that other boat. Here guys you want to jump in this boat and you want to move it away from that spawning space and destroy the boat so it completely explodes. Then guys you now want to destroy the boat you lined up blocking the stairs, simple as that completely destroy the boat. Now guys you need to spawn in yet another boat but again there will be a cooldown so wait it out. So once you can spawn in another boat guys if you are playing solo and you still have that one zombie left alive you can lead it around to the stairs where it gets trapped on that boat so you're free to do this. It isn't that much of an issue it doesn't hurt that much so you should be able to do it with that one last zombie following you around either way. So here guys again you want to spawn in this boat. From here guys you need to jump in that boat and here you need to drive it up onto the ledge and get it as close to that boat spawning machine as you possibly can but also you want the back side of the boat so the engine hanging over the ledge hanging over the water. It doesn't have to be perfect you can also maneuver the boat up on you basically sliding into it with your knife out 
as we did with the boat we placed by the stairs but yes get it as close to the machine that spawns in those boats but make sure the back end of the boat where the engine is is hanging over that water again it doesn't have to be perfect but get it as close as possible then guys you want to disable the boat do not destroy the boat just disable it so shoot it ever so slightly within the engine until it comes up boat disabled once here guys you now need to spawn in another boat if there is a cooldown wait it out so once the cooldown has gone spawn in that other boat uh, with the one you position near the spawning machine it should despawn from this point guys if done right the next wave of zombies that normally come through that wall right behind you and come straight for you will now walk all the way around and pile up on the stairs where we place that other boat it traps them from here you can simply just slay away it really is as simple as that now some of the bosses that spawn in here sometimes glitch through the boat some of the zombies also do sometimes but the majority of them get stuck which allows you to just slay away so do what you gotta do guys earn that xp and level up those weapons don't forget you want to pack a bunch of weapons you want to level it up you want to add those mods to it all these machines and vending machines can be found within the vicinity of where we're using this glitch. Just go up a few floors and you'll find them. There's also armor you can find here too. There's also an ammo crate right behind where you actually do this glitch and take out those zombies. So yes, it really is a win-win. Now I know a lot of people will say just play the game, just play it as usual. But some of the weapons to play in PvP within this game because it is multiplayer is just absolutely overrun with smgs it's a lot lot harder to actually level them up so if you're using snipers if you're using certain marksmen if you're using certain assault rifles this is the perfect place to actually level up those weapons now is it as quick as multiplayer is it as quick as facing off against other players well for me it definitely is that is for sure i mean i've leveled up a couple of weapons in doing this i mean within a space of probably getting up to a level 50 i'm getting like 30 plus levels on my weapon so yeah it's definitely one i think you should be taking advantage of while you can because it won't last forever they are on these and they patch them out of the game as soon as they realize they are there uh, this will no doubt be patched also like the last version of this so yes use this while you can guys but there we have it an amazing glitch which will allow you to level up those weapons whether you're a solo player or playing in a team once you are done with this guys um, you can either exfil or let the zombies take you out it doesn't matter your weapon xp gains remain guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one